I've just got back from the supermarket for my regular fortnightly click and collect order from Coles and it's just the usual fortnightly grocery shop where I ordered it online last night going um, on my $150 per fortnight budget and just buying what we needed to top up um, to make the meals um, and eat the food that my family likes to eat. Um, so I'll share what I've got and if you're wondering why we're missing some things I'll explain why and how I can manage to do this on $150 per fortnight. So let's just go through what I got this fortnight. So avocados are quite cheap at the moment um, at about a dollar each. So I've got a bag of those, some garden tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, bananas, Red capsicum were cheap, um, the red grapes were on special, as was this beautiful um, cauliflower. They're calling it a medium cauliflower, and it might have been only $2 or $3, and it's um, very, very big um, and lovely and snowy white. Um, those, those were the cheapest potatoes um, this fortnight. Not that I like paying for dirt, but um, they were the cheapest. Uh, two packets of plain Coles home brand corn chips. Um, they are good for nachos. And also, um, when I made chili con carne last fortnight, um, they, it was nice to have them on the side um, as a bit of a dip. So um, my family could just dip them into the chili con carne. So that was a nice um, little way to... Um, Get them to eat everything um, for the pantry. Crushed garlic, Vegemite peanut butter, vegetable oil, mayo, whole egg mayo. It's just the Coles home brand. Most of what I buy is Coles home brand. Red kidney beans, tomato sauce. Um, this regular spread. I do prefer butter, but um, I do get this one occasionally because it's got a good four star rating i don't use it a lot it's just mainly for the family for sandwiches i don't have any on my sandwiches but um, it's a kilo and it lasts forever crinkle cut chips for the freezer they're only two dollars a bag um, for a kilo and um, you know it's good on those friday nights when you don't feel like cooking but you don't want to waste your money on takeaway these mixed vegetables a kilo for a dollar sixty a really good buy, great for soups um, and risottos. They're already chopped. There's um, peas and potato and um, carrots and broccoli stalks. They are a really good bu budget buy. Corn kernels, I find this is the uh, best way for me to buy corn kernels because if only if you, if you even want a couple or like half a cup of corn kernels, um, you don't have to open a, a large tin and when you buy the smaller tins it's more expensive so I just get the frozen these frozen mixed vegetables um, the green ones the, um, other than that cauliflower a lot of the green vegetables are still expensive so I didn't get any of those fresh my usual Coles Greek yogurt which is absolutely beautiful I've, I swear I've tried every single uh, brand of plain full fat Greek yogurt and the Coles one is the best by far and it's won um, silver medals and awards it's really lovely um, I needed some new nappy sand some um, laundry soaker and I did have the um, larger I think it was a two kilo that's a one kilo tub so this was a two kilo tub which was round about thirteen dollars, um, but this per hundred grams was um, slightly less. It means that I'll go through it a lot quicker. But the thirteen dollar item would have sent me over my budget. So buying, um, trying to keep in mind buying the cheapest unit price plus also the cheapest item price will help you keep um, keep you under your budget. There's also a dozen eggs, grated cheese. It's just a, a luxury convenience item for 
homemade pizzas and toasted sandwiches or whatever else the kids want to eat. Um, a kilo of block cheese toilet paper. Um, the meat this um, fortnight I didn't need a lot so I just got some drumsticks for a change, some mince as usual and some chicken breasts. So you might be thinking, well, how is this going to um, keep us going for um, two weeks? There's no bread or milk here. Um, there's not much fruit or there's a little bit of fruit. Um, what do they eat? Where's the breakfast cereal? Um, everything else I've already got. I've already got bread in the freezer. I've got bread rolls, sliced bread, um, the wholemeal um, Lebanese breads. I've got long life milk. Um, I've got cornflakes. I've got um, oats for oatmeal. Uh, I've just got everything else that I need. Um, this order came to around about $130, I think, this time, um, which leaves me $20. So ne by next week, I might need bread and milk. So that's when I'll get it and that's when I'll um, buy it. Um, because if I've already got it, I don't need to buy it. Um, but I always like to keep a little bit aside for the next fortnight um, to top up when and if we do run out. So check the next slide for... Um, the exact amount that I've spent on this order and um, join the Shop Smart Eat Well Facebook group to see all the dishes that I make um, from this. I've also still got lots of meat in the freezer, um, frozen fish, chicken, sausages, some mint still and like this eggs and I could make quiches and um, all sorts of things with my basic pantry supplies. So Lots of food here, lots of food in the pantry, lots of food in the freezer and fridge already. So um, no meal planning's been done. I just choose what I'm going to eat the next um, that morning or the night before um, based on my family's menu and what they like to eat. And that's what the Shop Smart Eat Well program is all about. And you can find out more about that on my website at domesplicity.com. Thanks very much. Bye.